all right guys so i have a quick update to share with you we are still talking about what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are okay um the reason why i'm making this video for you guys is uh, very very simple all right uh, there is a video i want to share with you still on the river state crisis now this is coming from honorable um uh yeah chidi leo yeah, he was um, a former River State lawmaker and also a lawyer. Okay, so he have reacted to all the crises going on in the River State House of Assembly, the crisis between Simfubra and uh, Wiki. I'm going to share the video for you guys, then I will come back and tell you something that, you know, that is very, very important. So according to uh, Chidi uh, Lloyd, he said a mayor announcement on the floor of the River State House of Assembly, okay, on their preference for the APC. Now he's talking about the 20, uh, 23 or 25 defected lawmakers uh, where their seat was declared vacant, okay, that is bringing the issue, the trouble, everything uh, that even led to uh, the suspension of River State allocation. You understand? And also what actually got my attention is um, when the man said uh, that in law that he or somebody if somebody deposed uh, to an affidavit that it does not also amount to defection. You guys remember uh, what happened? They also, uh, you know, deposed to an affidavit of joining the APC. And then this man still went ahead, G.D. Lloyd, still went ahead to say that it was not a defection. I mean, I don't know, sometimes when these politicians, um, you know, come out on national television to talk, I really don't know what, you know, who are they talking to. Maybe they are talking to children or whatsoever. Now, let me share this video for you guys, and then I will personally come back uh, for the rest of my own comment. Coming back to the issue of defection, Martins Amehule and his colleagues didn't defect. If they announce a mayor announcement on the floor of the River State House of Assembly of their preference for the All Progressive uh, Congress does not amount in law to defection, that he deposed an affidavit does not amount to defection. Chi Lloyd now can sit in my house and depose an affidavit that I am I am a citizen of. Uh, Britain, does that make it correct in law? So, and uh, I I go to a football match, perhaps Real Madrid in Spain. I support Real Madrid, and in course of doing that, I raise the flag of Real Madrid. Does that make me a, 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 a Spaniard? Now, what has happened was that that defection was in Kuwait, and this was erudely elucidated by Justice Kenka Basam of the River State Judiciary, where he said that the process of defection was in Kuwait. That is to say it was not complete. What will, because the, the, the plaintiffs were not able to furnish the court with either the register uh, of the All Progressive Congress that contains the names of the Martins Amewule and his colleagues, neither did they, nor did they bring uh, uh, the, the, the Membership card of the All Progressive right. Congress. Okay. I think the, the, Super, the Court of Appeal okay. are dealt with all of these issues and have laid it to rest and, in, and directed that the governor was taking the business of governance in River State like a huge joke. And once again, it had taken this joke too far. And that the governor continues to pretend right, as Lord, if nothing is happening. Okay, guys, so you have seen this on your screen. This is coming from uh, a lawmaker uh, during 2000 and, uh, is it 2013, uh, during our matches uh, tenor. A lawmaker, in case you forgot, this is a lawmaker who beat up his own colleague with a maze uh, in River State. Of course, you've seen that already. This is the person that have you know, that have been declared wanted by the police for so, uh, some kind of uh, uh, dangerous crimes or thereabout. This is the person that is talking. Yes. So now the first question is, 
when he beat up his colleague, you understand? Uh, that man was hospitalized. Uh, one tooth came out. Uh, the man was um, uh, in coma in the hospital during 2000 and, uh, 2013, okay, when he was a lawmaker. So this is the man talking for those of us uh, that must have forgotten about him. Yes. So the question to Mr. Lloyd is, was it legal or illegal when he beat up his own colleague with the maze? Now, how do you explain somebody, you know, the post of affidavit? Talking about oh, the defection was incomplete and trying to bring logic or thereabout. You understand? I really don't understand. Now, uh, they are trying to make it look as if every other person is stupid. So I really don't know. Your, the man is a lecturer as well. And then one will begin to wonder, why do TV presenters, you know, keep on inviting uh, some people that if you look at their past, uh, TV presenters uh, need to be looking at uh, individuals' past before they invite them to an interview. That is my own personal opinion. Now, what is he saying? Is it because nobody was there to remind Mr. Lloyd that during 2013 that he was, if it was legal for him to use a mace, you understand, to fight his own colleague, leaving that man in coma in the hospital, wanted was out. The man, if you if you search for the video, you understand. I don't want to play that video for you guys because it is an old video. Was it illegal? Let us ask Mister Lloyd. Now this is the same person that is bringing legal and illegality, uh, the post of affidavit, and they're about coming to national uh, national television to be telling us uh, one thing or the other. Now what is he trying to say that uh, Fubra is fighting a as in, uh, 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 I really don't know how to put it. So the reason why I want I wanted to share this video for you guys is for Mr. Lloyd, you understand, to answer the same question. If it was uh, legal when he was a lawmaker in 2023 for him to beat up his own colleague, you understand, if it was legal. Now, these are the people that had caused uh, River State House of Assembly issue during the Amethyst period, you understand. So this is the same person that is coming out now uh, to educate Nigerians or telling other Nigerians what happened. Let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.